classical music sometimes has this notion about it that only people who are a specific way would go to a symphony concert and listen to symphony music or go to a piano recital as opposed to, you know, going to a concert of pop music or something. And I think classical music has the ability to move people and do these great things in the same way. I guess I feel like I'm part of a revolution to make classical music as relevant as possible. I'm Rina Esmail, I'm 32 years old, and I'm a composer. Anytime you're hearing music, there's someone behind that who has created that music, and I'm one of those people who creates music. I was always interested in music from the time I was a child, and I started, you know, playing guitar, violin, uh, piano, and then I finally found composition my senior year of high school. I thought, okay, this is it. I'm gonna go in this direction. I'm gonna be a composer. Juilliard just called me a year after I had started composing. So after Juilliard, I did my master's and I'm doing my doctoral degree at Yale. My music is kind of a reflection of who I am. I'm kind of equal parts um, American and Indian. Whenever I am in a situation where there are like 30 composers. Generally, I'll be one of very few women and probably the only Indian person. So it took a very long time for me to see anyone who, you know, shared the upbringing that I'd had, shared the culture of my family in my professional life. And so for a long time, I was really divided. I had a kind of an American outside life and an Indian inside life. And, you know, that can be really exciting and that can bring out so many different elements of your personality, but it can also be a little bit alienating when you feel like you're on the outside of something. I liked the idea of being able to explain one part of myself to the other parts of myself. I like to work between those two styles of music and I like to kind of take all the little things that I love from each style and combine it together into my own personal language. As a classical composer, you know, we live in this very different world than most people do. You write for things like the New York Phil, the LA Phil. Those are the kind of holy grails of composition. You want to work with ensembles that are, you know, at a higher and higher level, that are really able to conceive of your music. I am working with the Kronos Quartet that performs music from people all around the world. And I also have a performance at Carnegie Hall this year. This is my Carnegie Hall debut. Classical music should be accessible to anyone who wants to hear it because there are these really deep, wonderful, emotional things embedded in it. It allows you to feel things. My residency in Street Symphony is about is writing music to people um, who are experiencing homelessness or incarceration. But I do think that it's one of the, the best ways I can think to use the craft that I have. We use technology to record our ideas, we use technology to notate our ideas, we use that same technology to give our music to musicians. Musicians now play off of tablets we could actually go through the entire process conceivably without ever using a piece of paper. Thinking of melodies, and when I think of one that I think is kind of interesting, I just want to quickly jot it down. The minute I have an idea, I can just notate it the way that I would notate it on a piece of paper. And the minute I click away from it, it turns into MIDI notation. If I decide that I want something before that, then I can just move this measure over, add a different measure, and add a different um, melody in between. To keep pace with my busy life, uh, my PC is state of the art and being powered by Intel's best processor helps me do that. I have a few students that I teach over Skype that can be anywhere in the world. I always feel that I want to teach and always have a couple really great students because you know you can't think of every idea and so I always look for students who really challenge me and challenge my own aesthetic and style and beliefs. You create a piece, you create a form, you create a purpose. It's important to use music from um, other cultures and old music from other cultures because for the longest time, music was a craft that meant something in society. It wasn't just a form of entertainment. And I think maybe we've lost that a little bit as music has evolved with the culture. And I think if we can take some of that music, we bring back some of the relevance that goes along with it.